Toowoomba, known as the Garden City, has over 150 parks and gardens, one of the most significant being the Japanese Garden. It's Australia's largest and most traditionally designed Japanese stroll garden. Stage five of the FKG Tour of Toowoomba is the Platinum Health Group Criterium over 50 kilometres around Queen's Park in the heart of Toowoomba. Avanti Racing go into the final stage, one rider less, as Joe Cooper was unable to start the stage. I had a bit of a crash and took a bit of bark off my hip and my elbow, but it wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, Joe had a massive crash when we were going quite fast, and he ended up getting back up, got a new bike, rejoined, uh, rode to the finish. After the finish of the stage, he went to the hospital, got some x-rays, and he realised he'd fractured his hip. So, yeah, pretty tough man to finish maybe 30 k's of the race with a fractured hip, and we were still going full gas to the line. And while Jack Haig had a strong hold on the purple leader's jersey, the Mavic Sprint competition was still up for grabs. The only significant move in the criterion was a three-man group containing World Team Pursuit champion Mitch Mulhern. But with so much at stake, they were hunted down by the peloton before the finish. Quite a few attacks going. I think there are a lot of guys there just trying to make uh, last-minute opportunities open up for them. Um, it was all about us trying to protect the jersey and then bring it all back together at the end for a sprint. Flying around the final corner, gunning for his second sprint stage victory was Avanti Racing's Neil van der Ploeg. Absolutely, uh, it was really tough crit out there. Like having the uphill right near the finish is just makes it hard all day. And we had a bit of a battle for the sprint jersey. And hats off to Search for Retain and Ollie Kent Spark. We didn't get that one, but to get the stage was awesome. Second on the stage was the Australian Para Road champion Alistair Donoghue, and rounding out the podium, the comeback kid Ryan McAnally. Up the uh, last hill in the second last straight, uh, one of my teammates attacked, and uh, Neil. Yeah, seized the opportunity, got on his wheel, and then I got on Neil's wheel, and I, I may have had to throw a few bumps here and there, but I was, uh, I was an angry man, and I stuck on the wheel, and then it took me all the way to the finish. This tour coming from Battle on the Border, wasn't sure how things would go, and it's just been an amazing week coming away with the Arrow Energy, King of the Mountains, the Mavic Sprint, and then to top it off, the Wind News Most Aggressive. Just unbelievable week. Yeah, super happy to finish the crit and uh, get the lead and take the win in this tour. It's really good momentum for myself going into Korea and then heading off to Europe. And yeah, I've got to thank the boys because this will probably be one of my last NRS races with them for, yeah, for quite a long time. The Subaru National Road Series now takes a two-month hiatus until the Tour of the Murray on July 30. For the series leader, Joe Cooper, it should be enough time for him to get back to full fitness.